Hello, this reading is for Leos. Leos for Wednesday, March 6, 2024. Let's see what long-term or short-term energies are coming through. What messages either on work or love or life in general? And if they are messages or affirmations of the energy you have put out or the energy that you have yet to receive. Let's take a look, Leos. High Priestess. King of Swords. Five of Swords. Cool energy here, Leos. Or at least so it seems on the surface level. Seven of Wands, Queen of Fire, <laughs> Queen of Wands, and Queen of Cups. That's pretty warm. King of Swords gets, I see a king here. Judgment, King of Pentacles, it's like coming to a realization either about a past person or a past event. Five of Swords. Wondering how to break a stalemate. That's what that energy is. Okay, let's go start with our two queens. Why have the Queens and the High Priestess graced us today, Leos? Seven of Wands. Hierophant. Queen of Wands. Five of Cups. I'm going to throw another card on that. Why is our Queen disappointed? King of Cups. That answered my question. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Oops, there's another one on my Queen. Ace of Cups. My King Hermit. Is this a past person? Or is this a new person? I think it depends on the collective, Leos. I believe that you have some new opportunities in love coming. I don't know if I see per se... I see two opportunities, actually. Just like I see two queens. Actually, now the more I look at it, the more I get it. Okay, so we'll get into it. Love is a mysterious thing, isn't it, Leos? I guess when you start to put the motivations in of what you want and what someone else wants and how your energy and future outlook mesh, that's probably where the magic happens. When you start defining exactly what it is you want and how you want it, and then maybe you meet people along the way who challenge that idea for you. And in challenging that for you, you get disappointed. Although I feel like, I feel like there are two aspects of you, Leo. I do feel that one half of you is sitting in Queen of Wands energy and the other half, or will be, and the other half sitting in Queen of Cups energy. The Queen of Wands energy 
is literally if you want to take a chance on someone who disappointed you. Do you feel enthusiastic and energetic and hopeful enough to take a risk on a past love who's coming back? You should consider that because I feel very soon you will have the opportunity to be in a Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands position. Someone who disappointed you and who has been separated from you is going to come back in King of Cups energy. They want to reconcile with you and regain the relationship possibly to regain it to such formal levels as marriage or whatever that may look like to you. The other opportunity that you have, Leo's, is a brand new opportunity. You don't necessarily have to go and tap into any internal strength, belief, hope, fortitude. Those are all these energies, courage, lots of courage. Courage after this, courage. It's courage, Leo's, to go back to a King of Cups who did that to you. Courage. Or likewise, you can go with clean energy, smooth energy. In Queen of Cups form, you're going to get an opportunity, Leo's, either way. I don't feel either way, excuse me, you are getting the opportunity. I feel there are two opportunities coming, two opportunities in love. One is with a past person who definitely hurt you. Do you have the courage to go back? And the other opportunity is a brand new love, brand new start. I feel both of them will offer you the same thing. Whatever this hierophant represents to you, Leos, whether it is a document from City Hall, a ring on the finger, name on a deed of a house, <laughs> flowers scattered in a river. I don't know what that could mean to you, but whatever commitment looks like to you, Leos, I feel two people are going to offer that to you. One will be someone who broke your heart and disappointed you greatly and you need courage to get back to that person. And the other one will be someone brand new, fresh energy. You can apply that courage and dedication to someone who hasn't caused you pain. Message number two, King of Swords together with Judgment, King of Pentacles. So there's a past situation that is making their way its way back to you. You could be making a decision about it yourself. Leo's. What exactly has you sitting in King of Swords energy? I do feel it's actually something that's very close to your heart, though. I will add that as well for you to also appear in decisioning as a king of pentacles this is something that you feel very dearly about and that's why you're thinking about it so let's get an idea on the king five of wands what kind of five of wands five of wands is leo by the way. I keep on getting five of wands for Leo, I think. Pops up all the time for me with Leo readings. <laughs> what kind of five of wands? A knight of wands. Interesting. Judgment gets justice. Six of Cups gets happy home. 
Huh. What kind of justice? Death. Big change. Okay, now I need to know a little bit more about this knight. Tower. <laughs> it's always a tower if you dig deep enough where the past situation isn't there. Uh, do I want to go into the tower? Is it a good tower or a bad tower? We could see that. We'll take a peek. Chariot. Lots of movement here. This is like my fifth movement card. <laughs> my seventh movement card. Okay. What a lot of movement here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six movement cards here. All of them are quite intense. I have six intense movement cards here. Okay. I wonder if this is you, Leos. It is all your determination. I have two male energies here. Is this you? King of Swords. Huh, I could go either way. Could go either way. One more card. But I dare say that for the majority it is you. Leo's, you are sitting in King of Swords energy. There is someone who you're going to get back in touch with. Now, it could go either way, of course. It could be someone getting back in touch with you, but I feel for the majority of you, and I say either way. It could go either way, but for the majority of you, Leo's this is you. This is you in active masculine energy. Coming to... I don't know if the word is salvage. Rebuild. Renew. There is a chapter that closed with this person, a past person. That chapter definitely closed, but you are opening up a new chapter. You are. Because you see that person as a perfect partner. That person has transformed you into King of Pentacles energy. You are ready to settle down with your other half. You're ready to go and take that step, whatever that step may be for you. Oh, I can tell there is pain here. Lots of movement, though. I think all through during the time that you were with this person, Leo, and the time that you've been away from this person, you've grown a lot. And then the person that you are today. You've gone through three stages of metamorphosis. You've changed. How exactly? I don't know. It's such a top-level read that I'm doing here. But I could tell you changed. It looks like you changed in three distinct levels. Anyway, now you are ready to go and offer this person. I feel commitment. You want to make a big change both in your life and their life. Oh, and you definitely are coming in justice mode because you know that there are some issues that have to be remedied. You're aware of that. You're aware of this. I think you're very in tune with every aspect and stage of healing that the Three of Swords requires. 
this is not a callous pain acknowledgement. No, this is, you understand it. You've learned from it. Leo's It's like the journey to go and get to your person and also the journey for you to even get from king of swords energy to king of pentacles energy is quite a quite a busy hard earned journey but you're going to do it so much movement so much change So, see yourself definitely pushing forward. You will purposely create the tower to get back to this person. Whatever plans that may be. But this is your tower and your tower of approach. And you will be acknowledging the pain that was caused. Acknowledging and healing. Because ultimately you want king of pentacle energy with someone as your family. It's message number two. Message number three. Five of swords. This is deciding to end a stalemate. That's what it is. I is it you? Seeing the active role you just took here, it could be. Let's see. I can already tell you want to end a stalemate. I can already tell that it doesn't matter how long it's been because I have the Five of Swords energy here. We'll just end it here. Leo's. These energies are all rather intense. <laughs> I can tell that... Now, it could be your other person, too, but I feel for the majority of you, you want to go and end a long freeze that's been going on with someone. And, you know, there has been a burden in being separated from them, and you're also aware that there's a burden in coming together. Or, you know, initiating that bridge, building that bridge to connect and remove that situation and you're committed to it as if these energies tell me you're committed to it both traditional and unorthodox methods of engagement Leo that's what I'm feeling here you know you're preparing the scene preparing the foundation the groundwork to reconnect with someone successfully. It could be right now you are just gathering information. You're preparing to go and initiate contact with someone who you haven't been in contact with a long time. It could be there they are also preparing to contact you. But I feel for the majority this is your energy. Either way, contact is going to happen with someone who your relationship has been on ice for a very long time. Someone is going to take the daring gesture to come forward and get that party started. Leos, if these messages resonate, let me know. Like or leave a comment. If you would like to see more stuff from me, subscribe. To those of you who have already subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate the support. I, oh, if you like to treat me to a coffee, the link is in the description box. Leo, I will be back with another video for you shortly. Until then, I'm wishing everyone a beautiful day. Bye-bye.